Good morning, Copper Basin. Today is Thursday, April 28, 2016. I'm Kimmy. I'm Lainey, and on today's show, we will be talking about allergies, common core, and a shooting. So let's get the show started. Spring is here and that not only means warmer weather but also sneezing along with runny and itchy eyes. Tree pollen season has arrived. What, it's, what typically starts triggering people in late April or early May like pollen started blowing around as early as mid-February. So treatment is key because it is because it not only can keep the allergies under control but also can help prevent the development of asthma. Dr. Susan Rashel a Chattanooga Covenant Allergy says spring this spring this spring even though it was a delayed onset it's going to be even more robust than we've seen in the past now let's go to weather with lightning Today has a 20% chance of rain with highs in the mid 80s and lows in the upper 50s. Tonight will be clear with highs in the low 80s and lows in the mid 60s. Tomorrow should be clear with highs in the mid 80s and lows in the lower 60s. Now let's go to World News with Joey. So guys, yearbooks came in and they're cool. Pretty nice. And really nice. You need to Heavy. go pick yourself up one. Good quality. Very good quality there. Very nice spinniness. I haven't dropped mine yet, but I'm not going to because they're so nice. Yeah. Good perfect. job to everybody who worked on them. Yeah. Good senior pictures really look good. They really do. The quotes, the setup. Probably the best book of the year. The stencil on the outside. That's really nice. Very nice. Very good quality. Everybody go get you one. Fake I don't think pages. there's much left. Better hurry. You better run. Like now. Better go. Leave your class. Go buy one now. Well, not right now. After the show. But let's head over to the PSA. County units, ETA search for 1050 PI, Eagle and State, RD 471 break. Information one vehicle occupied by juveniles, multiple injuries, possibly caused by a drunk driver. This is Sergeant Briggs with the Ada County Sheriff's Office. Your son has been in an accident. from your sleep. There is no question that human intelligence extends far beyond the annual language and mathematical assessments that are administered each spring. Over 30 years ago, developmental psychologist Howard Gardner identified multiple intelligences and even thought linguistic and mathematical make up just two of the nine categories. State tests have been fixated on them. This obsession exists partly because it's difficult to measure other types of intelligence, such as interpersonal, intrapersonal, and naturalist, on, mu on multiple choice questions administered in a time and controlled setting. The results of the inaugural 2013 Common Core exams were unsettling, to say the least. A very low percentage of students passed. In New York City, just 26% of students passed the English test, while 30% passed math, according to the New York State Education Department. Now let's go to sports with Joey and Tanner. Hello everybody, welcome to Sports, I'm Joey. And I'm Tanner. The two teams that made it into the finals last year in the NBA playoffs, the Cavs and the Warriors have now moved on to the second round, so it's possible that they may actually meet up again. Yeah, the Warriors won by a pretty big margin last night, beating the Rockets 4-1 in the series. I mean, they may meet up unless San Antonio comes and, you know, knocks off the Warriors. Yeah, hopefully Curry will be back soon. But I don't know. Same thing with the Cavs. The Heat looked pretty good. 
Heat did look good. It looked pretty good. I'm not saying that. Just because I don't like the heat at all, but it looked really good. They're and playing very well. San Antonio's playing good too. They're just the most fundamental team in the oh, league. Yeah. I mean, that's all you can really say about them. That's the best thing you can say about them. But let's throw it over to lunch with Megan. Lunch in line one is pork roast, potatoes, roll, fruit, and milk. Line two is Salisbury steak, potatoes, roll, fruit, and milk. Tomorrow's breakfast in line one is sausage biscuit, and line two is biscuit and tenderloin. That's all for lunch and breakfast. Now to your local news with Lane. At approximately 4 a.m. on April 23rd, the Polk County Sheriff's Office received a 911 call from the Morrow residence on Isabella Avenue in the Copper Hill section of Polk County. The caller said Mark Newman of Ducktown had come to the residence. Newman was threatening to kill them and fired the handgun several times, the caller said. Upon def deputies' arrival, they found the homeowner and seven others at the home. All present alleged Newman had threatened to kill the homeowner pointed a handgun at him and offered a female to come out of the house. Newman also allegedly threatened to kill the mom, then fired several, the gun several times. One round hit a vehicle parked at the home. During the investigation, deputies found that the homeowner had surveillance equipment and had captured the entire incident on video. Upon speaking with the female at the residence, deputies learned she had also, taken, also had video footage taken with her cell phone. You can't get away with anything nowadays. Now to a word from our sponsors. The challenges facing the country never stop. So neither does the U.S. Army. We train, adapt, and get smarter. Every soldier, every unit, every day. Not to keep up with change, but to drive it. Nobody knows what problems tomorrow will bring, but we do know who will solve them. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Colton. For today's announcements. Saturday is prom. May 10th is awards day. Also, seniors, do not forget to log in your community service hours as soon as possible. May 12th is scholarship day. And also, there are 22 days till graduation. Today's birthdays are Kaylee Watt and Robert Waters. Also, Colton is a failure, and yesterday was Kaylee Allen's birthday because he forgot. We are very sorry about that. It was her turn. Uh, and no, we have... Anyways, uh, apparently there's not going to be a TCAP this year for grades 3 through 8. So, you guys are lucky. That's pretty sweet. Also, and, yearbooks are here. Yeah, very nice. And students who's going to prom, don't drink after prom. If you're going to drink, we can't make you not drink. Don't get in a car. I mean, that's a bad idea. I mean, we got Tennessee Promise to look forward to, so college for free. Why would you want to mess that up? So we'll see you tomorrow on CBTV News and 9.